Hey YouTube, it's uh, Saturday, March 13th, I think. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to take a little break from the blower, which is in the shed here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of a break. There's a few things I need to uh, do with that. Um, actually, a lot of things to do with it, but uh, I'm going to kind of take a break from it today because it's a gorgeous day out. It's um, very, very sunny. And uh, I, th I haven't tilled the garden. I haven't turned the garden over in a while and I've thrown tons of leaves in it. So the plan is to get the rotary plow hooked up to my 5665 and do a little uh, plowing with it. So I haven't, uh, I don't think I've ever used this rotary plow and I've used it with the cultivator. Um, and I used it when I first got it. So. Uh, I've since put larger wheels on it. The first time, one of the first videos I did with this was rotary or the cultivator and it would bottom out a lot because the tires were on the small side. Um, so I put these on which are, I forget what size, uh, these are, oh, five, seven, five by eight. So, so, um, yeah, these are a little bit bigger than the other ones, which are smaller. So I forget what those are, but these are definitely on the larger side. So I'm, I use these on the snowblow and they definitely seem to be better. And actually on the last snowblow video that I used with it, uh, someone gave me the advice because I was, um, oh, it was the Pro 16 that had a lot of problems snowblown I was just getting no traction and I happened to talk to my friend of mine and he said uh, he's never had to put chains on his and he's got a driveway probably about the same as mine um, maybe a very mild incline on his and he said he's never used chains and he said what he basically does is just keeps the tires uh, slightly deflated and he's had no problems and then when I ran this in a couple of videos ago um, did not have chains and it seemed to work fine so um, so uh, right now I'm, the plan is to eventually get chains for it for, for snow blowing, but um, don't have to this year because it seems like there's a strong possibility we're not getting any more snow. So uh, let's uh, set the camera up and get this bad boy on. I always like keeping a plate on my, uh, especially my Kohler powered ones, tends to, uh, oil tends to pour out the front, but um, I have three or four of these type plates.
All right, it took a little longer than I wanted, but basically because I didn't want to adjust the angle and since it was setting an angle that forces the wheels in a certain position. So um, since it's not a perfectly level ground here, so the, wheel, the wheels were off, so I had to like tip it in order to get the holes perfectly aligned. So now just to take the, uh, the jack stand and raise that up. Not bad balancing. Um, that's a nice, nice balance on it. But we'll find out when we uh, we get it running. So we, uh, I'm just gonna check the oils and everything, and then we'll get her started. All right, let's get this bad boy started.
Right. So, uh, sorry for the crazy camera. Yeah, that's uh, what they call black gold from a, from a uh, farmer's standpoint. Stuff is uh, about as dark as you can get. No rocks. Uh, I've rock picked it over the years, so majority of them are gone. So it's pretty deep. I gotta rake that out, um, smooth that out. I'll come back in the spring basically run the tiller on it uh, just to smooth it out but I basically wanted to turn over the leaves and get the leaves buried a little bit move stuff around let the uh, organics and the worms and stuff start uh, you know waking up uh, I'm sure a lot of people are just be like oh you're you've killed them all but yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that it's we got to uh, I gotta move, you know, get this stuff buried, so, but, we're, uh, we're looking good, we're getting ready for spring, oh. looking forward to it, alright, thanks for watching.